Okay, so into the oven, this this should. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Corner Homestead. So I'm in the kitchen and I'm getting ready to cook supper and today it's going to be a really easy and quick recipe. It is the Swedish meatball noodle bake. So easy and delicious and I wanted to share the recipe with you. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly what you're going to need. So what you're going to need for this recipe, it calls for a 26 ounce bag of meatballs, frozen meatballs. I didn't have the 26 ounce bag, couldn't find them in the grocery store, but I did get a 22 ounce bag and these are the Swedish meatballs. Only makes sense, right? So it says it's 44 meatballs in there. I'm sure it'll be plenty. So one bag of meatballs. You're also going to need egg noodles. So I have the light and fluffy egg noodles and you definitely want to get them in the wide. Either wide or even extra wide. One bag of egg noodles. You want it to be at least eight ounce bag. Mine's a 12, it'll be fine. A couple tablespoons of butter, a little bit of flour. Gonna need an onion. A half of a large or one small to medium type and you want to dice it. Gonna need at least one cup of mushrooms. I just got an eight ounce package and I'm just gonna slice them all and use all of them, whether it be a cup or not. Gonna need two and a half cups of beef broth. Gonna need your famous Worcestershire, Worcestershire, that W sauce. You'll need about a half a cup of sour cream and about a quarter cup of whipping cream or heavy cream, any type of heavy cream. A Little bit of salt and pepper and that's it. So the first thing we wanna do is cook our noodles and at the same time, we're gonna be sauteing our onions and our mushrooms. But first I gotta get them diced and sliced. So we're gonna start out by putting two tablespoons of butter or margarine, butter preferably, into our pan Wait for it to melt. And then we're gonna saute our onions and our mushrooms. We wanna saute our onions first. And when they get a little bit opaque, then we'll add our mushrooms. And it's just gonna take a couple minutes to get them to where we need them to be. Okay, so it's just been about three minutes, but these are pretty much where I want them to be. So now I'm gonna add my mushrooms. and just saute them now until the, about, the mushrooms are reduced to about half the size that they are. Okay, so now this has been cooking for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of flour and then we wanna cook it to make sure there is no flour taste in it. We're gonna add two and a half cups of the beef beef broth, two tablespoons of the Worcestershire. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to put in what I think is two tablespoons. About that much. Just don't need, don't need much of it. Now we're going to add a half a cup of sour cream. and we just need a quarter cup of our heavy whipping cream. And this is it. This is your basic Swedish meatball sauce. This is all we need to do with it. We do wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper for taste, not much. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and then we can drain the noodles 
and start to build in the casserole dish because the rest finishes in the oven. Okay, so in our 9 by 13 casserole dish, now because this is glass, and I'm not going to grease these for this dish. I just don't think it's needed because of all the sauce. Even if you had a metal dish, I don't think you would need it. So the first thing we want to do is take our egg noodles and put them into the bottom of the dish. And I'm just going to use my hand to spread it around. This part is so easy. And then we want to take our meatballs and we want to put them on top. Yes frozen and again I'm just going to use my hand it's clean <laughs> and then we take our sauce and we dump it all over the top and this is it give it a cover with aluminum foil and now it's ready for the oven okay so this dish is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until the meatballs are heated and hot all the way through and then we'll take it out and i'll be back and show you the finished dish so there you have it garden maters completely done i'm going to make sure i get one noodle and a some of the meatball. I already left it cool a little while. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. It's so good. Mm. It's really good. Now you may have to adjust your salt and pepper or if you like a little more of the Worcestershire sauce play around get the flavors to your liking but it's really good now I think if you don't want to bake it you don't have to you could put your meatballs in the sauce in the pan after it's all done just let them heat in there and just serve it over the noodles it doesn't have to be baked at all if you don't want it to be but I hope you give it a try because it is it's really good so as always it's a pleasure to have you in my kitchen with me. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Love to have you as part of the community. Love to watch the Garden Maters grow. So until next time, I love you all. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Ooh, I got to go eat. <laughs>